Pika Labs just came out with a brand new tool that allows you to automatically add synced lips to your footage. This tool is really helpful for adding synced lips to animation projects. Listen to me carefully. I've made my decision. Tomorrow we attack the enemy castle at dawn. And it even works with a photorealistic aesthetic. So I've been thinking a lot and well, I think we should see other people. Oh, don't give me that. Just because we moved into your apartment doesn't mean I can't live on my own. I am fully capable of, oh, real mature. Now, is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it is the easiest tool for adding in synced lips inside of your footage. Now, before we had this tool, you kind of had to use other tools like wave to lip, where you take the video, you drop it into wave to lip, it exports from like a weird hugging face website, the quality is really low, and then you have to run it through an AI uprising tool like Topaz Video using the Iris model to get maximum quality. And that's not ideal. This workflow is a lot easier. And it's also different than DID that allows you to upload an image and then animate it from there with those blinks and the head tilts but the environment and the camera movement is completely static. So that's not ideal for cinematic shots, of course, unless you are working on a Wes Anderson parody. So I'm excited to show you how to use this tool. Let's hop in. So we'll hop over to Pika Labs. You'll find a link below this video. And all you have to do is go to image or video to add in the image or the video that you want to use. If you're using an image, I should note that there is a limitation where you can only sync three seconds of the overall footage. So I really recommend uploading a video and adding the voice over that because the renders can be much longer. So all you have to do is click on your image or video and then select your asset. You can actually download the assets to follow along with us in this tutorial by clicking the Dropbox link below. So we have this footage here of this king and kind of this animated 3D style. This was animated from Pika Labs. We took a mid-journey image and basically brought it into Pika and then extended it. So it's about eight seconds long. So I'm going to import that into Pika and we will go to this brand new lip sync button. So you'll see this window here. Obviously you have the ability to type in text and then select the voice if you want to generate a voice directly here inside of Pika. This is an 11 Labs API. So a lot of the 11 Labs voices that you may be familiar with, you can find directly here inside of Pika. I actually prefer to have much more control over my generations, so I am going to actually upload my audio file. And I have this voice that I actually did generate from Eleven Labs, but I was able to use the voice library, so there's a lot more voices that you can select. Listen to me carefully. I've made my decision. Tomorrow we attack the enemy castle at dawn. Sounds pretty good. So we'll import it. And now we'll click Attach and Continue. So you can see here that we have the entirety of the video selected. The audio is actually a little bit longer than seven seconds, but it's okay for it to be a little cut off. And we'll go ahead and click generate. Okay, so the generation is done. It took about a minute to render. Let's take a look at what we have. Listen to me carefully. I've made my decision. Tomorrow we attack the enemy castle at dawn. So there you go. As you can see, it did a really good job with the lips on this specific instance. And I think that this really illustrates that Pika is really good at doing 3D animation style. I want to show you another really quick example here. So I have this image that I created inside of Midjourney. It's like in the 3D animation style. I think it looks really interesting. And I took it through Pika Labs, basically prompted in a surprised face with a negative prompt of talking. And we get this and he just is getting kind of sick and weird, but it's perfect because our audio is this. I don't think that was chocolate. So I want to see how the lip syncs with that footage. So again, all you have to do is go to image or video, find your video and import it. Then go to lip sync, click upload your file, and we will select our audio and click attach and continue and then generate. So it took about a minute, let's play it back. I don't think that was chocolate. Okay, so you get the idea, it actually looks pretty good. Now I want to share a secret for getting maximum quality from the renders inside of Pika Labs and also really any other AI tool that you may use at the moment. 
I'm going to use a tool called Topaz Video. It's my favorite tool for getting maximum resolution from AI videos. You'll find a link below this video. So I'm inside of Topaz Video and all you really need to do is drag and drop the video into Topaz. And you can select it there and then on the right we will change our output resolution. You can pick any resolution that you want. In this instance, I'm going to say Full HD, but if this was going to be used on a bigger screen, you might want to go to 4K or beyond. It's entirely up to you, obviously. With uh, more resolution, you need to have a better processor on your computer, so you might just have to dial that in depending on what hardware you are using. And then for the AI model, depending on the video footage, you may want to adjust this. For most AI projects, the Proteus model is the best choice. But if you're dealing with low resolution on lips or a face, I've found that the Iris model actually produces better results. And I'm going to turn down recover detail so that we get maximum quality. Once you are ready to render, all you have to do is click export as and it will export it to your computer. Okay, so let's take a look at our result here. I don't think that was chocolate. And this looks much better. Obviously, there's still some distortion in the eyebrows. The lips kind of dance a little bit, so it's not perfect. So I would say the further your subject is from the camera, the better your results are going to be. Now, is lip syncing inside of Pika Labs perfect 100% of the time? Absolutely not. It still has limitations, especially if your subject is at an angle. So for example, we have this shot of this woman talking on a cell phone. And then when we add in the lip syncing, you can see that the lips don't really match up at all. Do you know the Wi-Fi password? Uh, she basically is talking over her other mouth and it like dances around. The tracking's not very good. So there's definitely room for improvement there. We also have this video footage of this man who's basically taking a mug shot. And then we have him talking here. I'll be in jail for many, many years. You can see there's kind of some weird distortion on the lips where there's like lines going through it. So long story short, it's not a perfect tool, but if you're looking for a very easy tool to drag and drop footage and then change the lips, this is a fantastic tool to check out. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you want to learn more about AI filmmaking, you can find a link below this video to check out our AI filmmaking masterclass. If you create an awesome project, be sure to share it in the comments. And of course, like and subscribe to get even more AI tutorials and news directly here in YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.